Hey everyone, we're here today to install the Pinnovators uh, safe cracker brackets for the wings or the doors on a safe cracker pinball machine. So again, like when you buy or you know if you have a safe cracker machine, the brackets that come with these uh, doors or these wings, we'll call them, uh, they're stagnant. They're they're solid. They don't move. You know they open in one position. I believe they open something like this. You know like that that you can't move them. You, they're not bracketed or they're not hinged so they could move in and out uh, or open and close. So basically with these hinges that Pinnovators created, you could actually move your doors on both sides, you know, open and close. You could kind of shut it all the way like this, or you could open it all the way like that, you know, go all the way back actually like that. So they're out of the way. So if you have a tight space like I have here in my game room, these are great. I usually, you know, have these on my floor. Or I put them behind my pinball machine and they take up a lot of space being on the floor because I can't install them on the machine. So in this video, we're going to show how to install them, how they look like, you know, once they're all completed and take a look at how easy the installation actually is. It probably took me about 10 or 15 minutes to install. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the install video. Okay, now what we're going to do is take your safe cracker wing that we have here that attaches to the side of the side box or back box, I should say, to your safe cracker pinball machine. And the Pinnovators, uh, what they do is they give you this bracket that's here. And you can see it's kind of hinged on this on these two sides here. So basically what they do is the actual door, it kind of just like, you know, wings out like this. So when you have it on your machine, you could actually take your wing and open it in and out. So if you're you know, lack your space is lacking, like kind of like in my game room where everything is so narrow, it's hard to leave these doors on because this is the piece that comes stock with the door or the uh, wing, I should say. And then basically, what this does, it's kind of, you know, it's one position. So these screw holes screw into the wing, and then it kind of like wings on or, or kind of brackets onto the side of the back box. But your door is always in one position; it's always out. So it's kind of hard, like if your lack, your space is lacking like mine and it's a narrow area, you know, you can only put it in one position. You can't kind of like, you know, make the door smaller on closure or more open or wider. So it, it kind of limits you into what you could do with that machine. So with this, what Pinnovators came up with, you know, it gives you the opportunity or the space kind of to make the doors kind of go in and out. So it gives you that space, kind of like in my game when I'm lacking. So basically what you need to do to attach this bracket onto your wing is take off this old bracket here of what we have stock from the machine and then take this one and there's holes on this side here. There's one, two, three, four, five. And then this wing or this bracket goes onto the wing kind of like this. So now when you attach this side to your pinball machine, to the back box, or the side of the wood of the back box, you know, this again allows the door to open and close with this, uh, you know, this, this hinge here that goes in and out. And also Pinnovators gives you more screws, which is great because, um, you know, if you ever lose them or you strip them out or something like that, you know, you have extra ones to kind of put in. So what we're going to do again is position this um, hinge here that Pinnovators gave you in the kit. And there's two of these. I already put one on my machine to see how it fits on and all that. So I'm going to show how to put the one on and then we're going to go and see how it is when we're finished. But, you know, basically just screw this into your wing here, into the wood. And also Pinnovators, uh, it's, he sells the hinges like I got because I already had the wings. Uh, with my machine, but he also sells the wings themselves. I don't know if he sells the decals. I don't think he does, but the wood he cuts out for the wing, the door itself, and sells that with the hinge. So basically, you know, you could have the whole thing, and I believe you could get the stickers. You used it from Mr. Australia, I believe he is. And that's where I bought a replacement set because mine are kind of bubbling a bit, and they're like scratched up, but I'm like, yeah, I'll leave them on for now. So, so basically what I'm going to do is screw these, uh, these security nuts down and to do a security nut you know basically if you buy a kit like this I bought this from like Pep Boys or something like that these are security bit sets so I have a socket like screwdriver here that the bits come out of 
So all I do is I get the bit, and and the way a security bit is is that it's like a um, you know like a like a, a hex set around here, but in the middle there's a hole, and on a security nut or bolt there's like a little like a nipple that kind of comes up in the middle. It's like a little like metal piece, and this hole slides into that nipple kind of, and then these grab you know the screw, and that's how you take them out. So that's what a it basically said is it's a gearhead. 13-piece tamper-resistant bit set, and it's a security set again. And the uh, the part number on this is G is in George, H is in Harry, 8370. So if you look it up, I believe, like I said, on um, Pet Boys, or if you look it up on Amazon or something like that, this may come up. So this is what you're going to need, a set like this, to uh, attach these uh, wing, or this uh, bracket onto the wing, so you could... Put it onto your pinball machine and to take the old bolts out of the pinball machine you need these security sets as well i think uh, adam's family uses it for their topper whitewater uses it for their topper so uh, a lot of machines use it for different things you know but so basically people don't go into the arcade and steal the things off of it it made it a bit harder to have to get a, a bit set like this to to remove those things so i'm going to attach this finish attaching uh this bracket or um you know, the hinge onto this wing here, and then we're gonna attach it to the pinball machine and at the end, kind of look at how the doors actually open and close and see the final product and how the actual uh, Pinnovator's uh, hinge set works. Okay, so here we are looking at the, uh, the Safecracker pinball machine and we have one of the, um, the doors on the uh, pinball machine right now. And they say how I attach it again, I showed in the last part of the video is that this part of the bracket screws onto the door with these security uh, like hex nuts here. So there's five of these and they screw onto that side. And then the other side screws onto the pinball machine which is here with the bracket and there's five screws that go into that as well. So there's a hole here, 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 and here. So I already put three in to keep the, you know, the, the, uh, the door or wing, whatever you want to call it, onto the pinball machine. So again, all you need to do is put, I only need to put these two more on here. So then I just, you know, attach these two onto the pinball machine. And then that's really it. And then you tighten everything down with your security hex uh, set here that you get from Pet Boys or whatever you get it from. And then that's really it. And so the door is attached and, you know, the door swings like this. So you could take the door, swing it all the way back like this. So it's kind of out of the way. And if people walk by, you don't really slam into it. Or you could take the door, you know, leave it sideways open like this, like, you know, your regular safe cracker machine does. Or go all the way in like that with it. So there's, you know, all different kind of position. It's kind of like a dartboard in a way with the doors on a dartboard where you can position the doors open or closed and all that. It's kind of the same idea with this. So, um, you know, kind of, you can leave it like that. And we'll, do, we'll get a front shot on it in the next uh, shot here. But I just wanted to show how it is, you know, on the side view of the, uh, the actual pinball machine. So let's go around to the front and take a look at there and see how these doors look on the front with both doors attached to the pinball machine. Okay, so now here we are at the front of the machine, and again, we have both of our doors attached with the bracket from Pinnovators, and you know, as we can see, the doors, is, the doors or, or wings are hinged, and now they open, you know, you can put them all the way back, like that, take that, put it all the way back, like that, or, you know, move it sideways to kind of like where the normal uh, safe cracker positioning is. Uh, with the standard bracket, or you can move, you know, it in as far as you want it in, or you could even put it, you know, pretty tight sideways like that, you know, so it's kind of totally out of the way if you walk by it. And if you have a machine next to it, like I do with, I have a No Good Gophers next to the machine on the right hand side of my safe cracker, and it kind of could tuck behind that. So if we kind of pan to that side, so if I have my no good no good gophers and I kind of want to look at it, I just take the you know the door and kind of you know do that. 
So now you kind of could see the backlist of no good gophers, but also, you know, you have the safe tracker wing attached to your machine. It's not like, you know, th these are taking up room, you know, behind another pinball machine on my wall. So now at least I could attach it and get it off my floor, put it with the machine, and at least it gives the appearance that these doors, you know, go with the machine as they do. But before I couldn't use them because my hallway or aisle is really tight. You know, on my last video I showed it with uh, my uh, doing the cup holders. And again, like if you look at my aisle with here, it's a bit, uh, you know, narrow and tight. So, you know, if it's like that, you know, when I have this door open like that, you know, say the standard safe cracker door, you know, part. Now you're going to be smashing into that every time you walk by that door. So it really doesn't work out in this room. But with the Pinnovators hinge, I could take this door now and put it like that at least. Or, you know, if I'm playing the game, open it a little bit like that. And, you know, it gives you the clearance, at least in the hallway here, or the aisle of my games. You know, and it's not really totally in the way. Or if I just want to shut the door, you know, I could kind of do that. And it's totally out of the way. So I think it works really well. I think it's a really cool uh, cool idea to do these hinge doors like this for a safe cracker if you have one. So, uh, you know, if you if you like this or like the the idea of this, you know, uh, email Pinnovators or go to their website. I'll have a link and everything on my blog and my website. I'll have a link to that as well. The installation of some pictures and everything else of what I did here with uh, with the Pinnovators uh, hinge here for these uh, doors or the wings. So again, thanks for watching my video. Really appreciate it. You know, you can see all my stuff on www.pinballsupernova.com. Or you want to email me, info at pinballsupernova.com. And from that website and that homepage, you can reach all my things. My Facebook, my YouTube, my Instagram, my blog, and my uh, Twitter page, actually, too, I have. So I post everything on those five different social media sites. So um, that's it for watching. Really appreciate it. Again, thanks for the support. Thanks for buying my shirts. I really appreciate it. I sold uh, some of my shirts and I really appreciate everybody supporting the page and supporting the shirts and everything else that goes along with my website. So again, thanks again for watching the videos. Really appreciate it and I'll talk to you soon.